This video is about my life during quarantine. Now to give you a little bit of a heads up, it's just me standing in front of my camera and talking to you about my day-to-day -day life. Now I may not have gotten every day, but it got a little repetitive throughout the days, so you might as well just give me a break. Thank you, and enjoy. It is the 31st, and today was frustrating to me because I've been trying to upload a video onto YouTube, and a video that I uploaded, or tried to upload, it was uploading, it, and it had been uploading for four days. Today it decided to say, processing abandoned, video failed to upload. And I looked up so many tricks and tips on how to fix it, and I did all of those, but it didn't work. At this point, I was just complaining about how I couldn't get my video to upload, so I'm just going to spare you those details and skip right to the end. So, um, that was my day. Um, but I'm going to my mom's tomorrow. Um, and we'll see what happens tomorrow. Talk to you then. Coronavirus. Quarantine. Lonely. Today is Wednesday, the 1st, April Fools. I haven't opened a car door in a while. So apparently when you don't do that for a while, um, <laughs> the, the next time you open one, you hit yourself in the head with it. Because I was going to my dad's car, I opened the door with my right hand, so it should just be like this. But it wasn't. I grabbed the doorknob, and I opened, no, not the doorknob, the handle, I opened the door, and the top of it hit right here on the top of my forehead, and I feel a bump there now. My anniversary of my one year with my girlfriend is tomorrow, since we won't be able to see each other um, for our anniversary due to the quarantine, we are going to play Minecraft together on our Xboxes, on Xbox Live, so <laughs> that's going to be fun. Uh, I tried taking a test today in, on Schoology, but Schoology crashed and wouldn't let me go back into it for a while, so I had to take the rest of the test once it rebooted. I gotta start working on my... Uh, Frankenstein stuffed animal project that I was assigned by my 3D teacher. I have to read The Great Gatsby. Um, I've already seen the movie. Probably watch it again just for a recap. Because for some reason I can understand movies better than I can books. Because Great Gatsby is a little confusing while I'm reading it. But for some reason the movie helps me understand it better. Anyway, uh, that's all for today. Um, I'll come back to it tomorrow. Night. Hello. Sorry I forgot to do my video log yesterday. I was a little bit busy. Um, I had my Minecraft date with my girlfriend. And it went very well. In fact, we're gonna play Minecraft right after I finish this video log. Um, I'm speaking very quietly because my parents are sleeping right now. Uh, my bro my brother's probably not sleeping right now, though. Yesterday, I was just playing Minecraft with my girlfriend pretty much all day. I didn't leave my room until 6 p.m. Uh, I didn't really eat yesterday besides dinner. I didn't really eat today besides dinner. Um, wasn't really that hungry. My mom bought groceries, um, today, and she bought some for my girlfriend's family. So my girlfriend and her mom came over um, and picked up the supplies we got at the store. Um, and of course we had to stay, stay six feet apart so I couldn't give her a hug or a kiss or anything. I couldn't get everyone a hug really. Um, to stay six feet apart from her and that was a little difficult. You know, it was so close but yet so far. So, um... We did uh, toss a pebble back and forth between each other, and once we were done, she kept the pebble, 
she named it Pebs, and uh, she took it home and washed it. She washed her hands, I washed my hands. We're all good. At this point, I really didn't know what to say, so I'm just going to take you to the end. Video log number I don't remember, but it is one of them. So, um, I forgot to do one last night, so I'm going to do two of them today. Um, to catch up what I did yesterday, I woke up at around like 11. I got up, didn't really eat much, I just had a breakfast sandwich. As I started watching uh, Disney+, Plus, I finished one of the series that I was watching, and I watched Penguins uh, by Disney Nature. And I started a miniature version of the Batmobile, the original one. Um, and I plan on continuing that today. I woke up late today because I didn't realize what time it was when I was doing that project. So I'll keep you updated on what I do the rest of the day today. See you later. All right. Quick recap. I'm glowing. Also, today was... Uh, not that interesting. Also, sorry, forgot to give you an update again yesterday uh, after what I said I would do, but I did not, I did not give you an update, as I promised. Um, so I'll give you that update now. Yesterday, all I did for the rest of the day was play video games and eat and talk to my girlfriend. That's pretty much it. This morning, though, I set an alarm to wake up at like 11 and I set three alarms I snoozed all three of them and I didn't wake up until 12 but that's not bad because I've slept until like one before I did my 3d art project uh, where you had to take three three different stuffed animals and combine them into one and this is what I made the head of a bear on the body of a bulldog with the with arms and a tail like a monkey. So that's done. Other than that, I've just been enjoying the fact that I am glowing in the dark. Oh, the shirt. Yes. This is the shirt that was designed for the cruise that I was supposed to board yesterday uh, for my spring break. Since the he who shall not be named virus happened um this does not exist anymore and on the back class of 2020 or well spring break 2020 class of 2020 the cursed class anyway uh that is my update for the day and yesterday more for you tomorrow this part of the video was reserved for one of my days, but it was very boring, so I deleted it. You're welcome. This audio recording is taking place of a different video log that was really boring and I deleted it because the only thing I did different that day was wake up early. So another daily update. Um, today I got up and I didn't eat for a while until I went downstairs and made some leftovers from yesterday. My mom was baking for tomorrow, for Easter. Um, my uploads, day four and five of my vlog, uh, froze, so I had to re-upload them, but right now I'm only uploading one at a time. You're probably wondering why I have this baritone ukulele around my neck is because I taught myself a song. And that's how I'm going to end this video log, because I really did nothing today besides do those things. So I'm going to end it with the song Stairway to Heaven, but I did not learn the entire thing. I just learned part of the intro, uh, and it's not even that good, so I'll present it to you right now. Squad. Uh, I skipped yesterday, so uh, 
I'm going to wrap up two days today again. Just chilling with the, the, the colorful lights from Blendon. Um, I finished uploading two more vlogs. I gotta upload two more, and then I'll be done. I did some psychology work for my class, and, you know, I just chilled, played some video games. I bought a, a, a hot sauce for my dad. Not from a store, though. I ordered it online, and I sent it to his address. Uh, cause I know he likes hot sauce and, uh, for, because of the, um, stay at home order, not going between residences, we, uh, decided that it would be safer for, for, for me to stay at one house. So staying here for the duration of, uh, the quarantine. So, uh, the rest of my logs will be here. Uh, Taught myself a little bit more Stairway to Heaven, play a little bit more of other things, you know, stuff like that, but everything's usually the same now. Just downloading some games. Gonna play them anyway. Um but that's about it. So I'll catch you up tomorrow. Bye. Welcome to another quick simple update on this social distancing project. Today I got up and immediately decided to do my laundry. Uh, and I did all that today, and my brother came into my room and asked me if I could lend him my ukulele so that he can learn how to play it. So I said, okay, go ahead, and right now I can hear him two stories below me, um, playing it, trying to learn a bunch of different songs, and... Uh, I'm very excited because all my vlogs but one have been uploaded, and hopefully this other one will be uploaded soon. Um, anyway, uh, tomorrow I'm going to make mouse furniture out of a box of Gushers and, what is that, Cosmic Brownies? And that's gonna be fun. I play. I I downloaded uh, Call of Duty Warzone. I played that today, uh, trying to get better at it. Last night, I made my brother gourmet mac and cheese. Yeah, that's how bored I was. He asked. He said he wanted to make mac and cheese, and I was like, "You want me to make it for you?" He said, "No." I said, "Okay." And then later, I was like, "Do you still do you still want mac and cheese?" And he was like, "Yeah." And I was like, "Do you want me to make it for you?" He said, "Sure." So I went upstairs. I made the I made it the regular way, the the macaroni the um, the boiled water you know boil boil them and then put the packet of powdered cheese in it and then butter milk uh, stir it up then I sprinkled in uh, about half a handful of shredded cheddar to make it stringy to make the cheese stringy in there you know making the noodles string together and to top the bowl off I sprinkled like a little a quarter of a handful of shredded cheddar over the top just for artsy's sake so that it looks pretty I did psychology today learned about a girl who um she just can't feel pain she can feel texture and heat and cold, like she can feel temperature and texture, but she can't feel pain. And I thought, that's very scary. Kind of cool, but mostly scary. And that was my day. And I'm going to have another day tomorrow, you know? One thing I've learned from this is don't count the days. Make the days count. And that is where I'm going to end it. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. I'm recording over this video because it was very quiet. And as you can see, I'm holding a paper chair. That is my mouse furniture project that I have right there. Also, later on I added string to it. I think I show you. I don't know. But it is made out of the box that I said it was. And it's just held together by corners of cutout boxes and tape. And... 
Later in this video, I just say that my dad got me my Easter present. It was very nice. I got two two liters and a bunch of candy, and that was very nice, and I was excited uh, for him to open his hot sauce bottle. So let's continue. Yes, yet another day of quarantine. And what I've seen today is unforgivable. At 7 a.m. this morning, my oldest brother, Matthew, he is 22 years old. He gave himself a mullet because he thought it would look good. He missed a patch on the right side of his head right here. Like, you know how your hair parts in a line? Well, he shaved it, like, regularly, 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 and he was, like, stopped. And now there's, like, this section of hair right here that's still there. And he's like, oh, doesn't it look good? No, it's terrible. And I told him that when I first saw him in it. He's like, what do you think? And I said, you look stupid. And I told him just a few minutes ago, you should honestly buzz your head. It would look way better, and I'm sure you'd get TikTok famous for it. I guarantee you, it will be a lot better. So, that is that. I sent a progress picture in to my art teacher with my chair. I haven't done anything else different to it since the other day. Uh, I'll put thread on it uh, and, you know, maybe paint it by next Friday. And, um, what else? I played a lot of video games today, and I feel like instead of playing video games, you know, since, you know, we can't go outside or anything, uh, I'm gonna watch some Netflix, you know, because I've been just been playing video games nonstop, and I'm like, Maybe I should just stop interacting and just start watching. You know, that would that would be a lot better. Just for a little bit, though. My film teacher and my art teacher uh, made a website showcasing the senior art department. Uh, and uh, a few of my things are on there. It's pretty cool. Also, my girlfriend's present... Uh, came today for her birthday, and I'll tell you what it is once I mute myself right now, because she's on FaceTime on the laptop that you are sitting on. And she can't hear me right now, can you? No, you can't. I got her a uh, Xbox controller charging station, and she's wanted that for a while, so I got that for her. And, uh, yeah, it finally arrived today. Uh... My dad's hot sauce moved like a couple inches on the map. Uh, so, it's in transit, it says. And it will be to him eventually. Uh, but we'll see where that is. Uh, and, uh, again, I did psychology today. And I sent it to my teacher. I need to check if he got it, because he always sends a confirmation saying, I got it. So... That was that on today. Um, I had a lot of chocolate donuts. Like those mini chocolate donuts that are like that big. Uh, anyway. That's all for today. I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye bye. Voice over me here again. I have deleted yet another video log because it was too quiet and we literally did nothing that day besides play games and eat then I went to bed. So you're welcome again for sparing you from this lack of content and uh, on to the next one. Good evening, good evening ladies and gentlemen. Sorry uh, I skipped another day. My bad. Um, but a little bit's been happening these past couple of days. So um, as it turns out the quarantine was extended. Uh, don't mind this. This is me making homemade Kool-Aid in a water bottle. So anyway, uh, quarantine was extended. Uh, and my school posted that all the seniors should come to our school. And we have this rock. Okay, if you didn't know, if you're not from here. Uh, we have this rock outside that... Every, that, that student council like spray paints and 
you know, there's certain themes to it depending on what's happening. So, uh, recently, over the weekend, they were like, we spray painted the rock so that everyone can sign their name on it, but only, only everyone in the senior class of 2020 for Henry Ford II High School. And I thought, that's cool, I'll sign it if I can go sign it. And uh, so yesterday we did. Uh, my parents took me. They made a makeshift mask out of these rubber bands folded. Well, these rubber bands go around my ears, but there was a bandana around it, but my brother had to borrow it for uh, this, like, TikTok, I think. So... Yeah, I wore that, and I wore some sunglasses, and I wore gloves, and before we went to the rock that I could sign it, uh, we had to go pick up some things from Target, because we're needing essentials. Um, oh, by the way, my parents got a call saying that their pickup Kroger order was delayed by a day and a half. I don't get how, but it was, so we ended up having to pick something up from Target, the way it works is we slide into a spot, we s tell them that we're there, and they come out to us, and they put stuff in our trunk, we don't have to touch them, they scan the phone, and then we're good. So that's what happened, and then we went to the rock, and there were ten kids there. Uh, I said hi to them. They knew who I was, even though I was wearing a sunglass and mask, but maybe it's the, maybe it was the hair. But, I mean, probably recognized me from the voice. And I said, hey, guys. And they were like, JT, what's up? And I was like, hey. And then I signed the rock right next to one of my friend's names, and then we went home. Today, I found out that someone uh, vandalized the rock and completely covered it in gold as I have been told. I'm not sure if that's completely true, but according to my mother, someone defaced it, covering it in gold. Um, so, I'm assuming it's true, so, because my mother wouldn't tell me something like that. She was excited for me to sign it, so uh, I, I believe it's true. Um, anyway, I'm also excited because my Vistec teacher, he sent my Courageous Persuaders video, which I made against uh, distracted driving, uh, he sent that to the district, and he said they're putting something together about it. And I said, what are you talking about? He said, they're going to put it on their website. And I was like, really? And he, he was like, yeah, and I just can't believe that's happening. Um, I mean, I can't believe I even won an award with it. I, I won $2,000 uh, for... A d distracted driving uh, thing in Curtis Persuaders, and I can't even believe that's possible. I need to fill out the paperwork in order for me to receive it for a scholarship anyway. Uh, but that's something that has been happening. Anyway, I've been playing Minecraft. <laughs> I did uh, English yesterday, and I did psychology today. And I am going to make a fun necklace out of bottle caps for my art class, because we're supposed to do something with recycled items, considering our lack of items from quarantine. So, that's what's going to happen. And um, I finished a series that I was watching, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, and I think I'm going to watch Tiger King because it's been gnawing at me since the beginning of its release, and I was just thinking, man, I'll watch that at some point. That might be now. So that's all for today and yesterday. If I were to add one more thing, it's that I am waking up more and more with one of my arms being behind my head and numb, completely numb. Like, I wake up, like, every other day with my arm, mainly my right arm, behind my head like this, and then I move forward and it just flops down and I can't move it at all no matter how hard I try and I lift it up and I squeeze it and I can't feel it but then later on I can move it and it's just so weird and my parents think it's so weird 
because I was also at some point standing outside with no shoes on and my feet got cold but I didn't realize until I got inside that I couldn't feel my big toes and when I um, when I got inside I could move my big toes but I couldn't feel them at all and they were white they were like very white uh, and my mom was worried about it and I was like this happens all the time and she's like that's not normal and I was like may not be normal for you, but that's a normal thing for me because I have bad blood circulation and sensitive skin, and that's what I get. Um, <clears throat> anyway. Uh, but yeah, the, it eventually got back some blood, and uh, I can feel it. And uh, just fun little stories here and there. Uh, anyway, that's all for today. This is a long one, 10 minutes, wow. Uh, and I will see you guys later. During this video log, I started to try and make a change of scenery, which obviously did not work because it looked very bad and it was very quiet. And during this video log, I decided to talk about how my mom asked me for a list of my favorite things, which I seem to think is very suspicious. Like, why would she just ask me only what my favorite things are and I think she has something planned for me and it still hasn't happened yet even after the editing of this video so I'm very very curious continue on good evening ladies and gentlemen it has been three days since my last encounter with you now the reason it's been three days is because I keep forgetting to do it, but many things have taken place since then. As you can see, I have new scenery. Reason being, I've decided to go back to switching back and forth between houses throughout this quarantine. And yes, that is allowed because they are allowing uh, movement between residences. Now, some big news. I received my cap and gown for my class of 2020. I am an honor student, so I get the gold sash. I have International Thespian Society cords, which are blue and gold. And I also have International Arts Honor Society, which is blue, red, orange, green, yellow, and purple. I think it's very nice. I think you should have a better look in the light because it looks way better with the 20 on there. Anyway, back to the cinematic lighting where you can't see me. But I must say this is a very well lit window. Anyway, I just got out of the shower and that's why my hair is wet and that's why I'm wearing a robe. I need to still make my bottle cap bracelet. And I am recording audio for a sound project that I'm doing. And I did psychology today. And by the end of this week, I need to read chapters 5 and 6 of the Great Gatsby. Now I was just gaming over here just a little bit if you're wondering you know I'm, uh, I got kicked from the game because I got into the shower um, but I'm playing Battlefront 2 uh, today is Cinco de Mayo yesterday was National Star Wars Day may the fourth be with you by the way and since it it, it was um, May the fourth yesterday I guess you might as well deserve to see my skills as a swordsman. that out. 
At this point in time, you can tell that I've already gone crazy, and I just keep talking about Star Wars and Cinco de Mayo. That's it. Then I just talk about that I'm going to my mom's tomorrow, and then I say goodnight. So, let's continue. That's... Hello, everyone, and uh, it's been four days since I've done a video log, and, ironic enough, well, maybe it's five, because the news I'm about to tell you happened four days ago. Anyway, uh, it's been a bit, so while I have not been video recording, I have been cleaning my new car. Yes, I was given, I didn't have to buy it, I was given a car out of sympathy for my senior year um, by a friendly neighbor uh, in our complex, um, and it is not a bad car, I mean, it's pretty nice, it's a, a 1993 Ford Probe GT, and it is white, and uh, I cleaned it for about four days. I, I, I finished vacuuming and I, I finished cleaning the interior. Okay. Now all we have to do is just like minor replacements. So like the, the trunk, you had to hold it up. It wouldn't hold itself up. So we replaced the things that hold it up today and it works very well now it's very nice uh now we need to get new brakes and i think the shocks shocks i think we need to get new shocks my stepdad took it out for a ride uh to test it he said and i quote it rides hard which means you know it you can feel every crack in the in the pavement so um, so yeah, we're gonna get that done at some point, whenever it's a nice day. Um, I will show you pictures and videos when I get them, because it is pouring out rain, and I, uh, don't want to really stay outside and videotape all that much. So, I will put those in there at some point. So, that's all I've basically been doing for the past few days is cleaning the car because it, uh, it was full of hair and fur, like cat hair, or not cat hair, dog fur, um, and, you know, had to get all that out of there, and uh, we cleaned it, washed it, so yeah, it's a pretty nice vehicle, uh, and I hope good things will come from it. And that is my video log for today. Thank you very much. Hello, everybody. Final vlog. We are in my new car, like I said I would show you. Looks like it might begin raining, but let me show you around. This is a 1993 Ford Probe, and I got it for free. And I worked on it a lot, made the tires look nice and I washed it a couple times waxed it a couple times even though that wasn't necessary put leather seat covers in there they look nice and my girlfriend gave me a gift to hang there and we replaced the brakes and rotors and the back two uh, calipers and it's got some nice fun flip lights. So that's that's that. Now on the inside, you know, I got my seat covers. Uh, I plan on getting seat covers for the back too. I'm waiting on the Secretary of State to open so that we can get a new license plate on there. And this is the key for the car. The fun thing about this car is I love doing the lights. I just press a button, they come up, press a button, they come down. And um, I am looking forward to this. And it comes, the car 
well, I can't open the glove box right now because it's locked, but... The car came with a cassette tape that has a bunch of different test songs on it, and the first song on side A is the Back to the Future theme song. And I thought that was cool, and I play it a lot. And looks like it's starting to rain. Let me roll up these windows just a bit. I tried to air out my car. It's, uh, it's pretty nice. Oh, let me show you. We call this... I don't know if you can see that. Call this the panda because it's the light stuff, but it looks like a panda. And you can tell how old it is because it says map. Like it was designed to hold a map right here or here or to see where you're going. But it's got a cassette tape and it can play radio. I don't want to get copyrighted. But, uh, yeah, it's very nice. It's got front wipers and rear wiper. And it's really nice, fancy like that. And, uh, the mirror. This quarantine vlog has been quite the journey. Been really repetitive. And some new and exciting things have happened. Um, but all in all, I'm about to graduate this week. And it doesn't really feel like I'm graduating because we're not having finals. I finished my last assignment in some of my classes and I just, I don't know. It's a little weird. Weird to think that I'm officially graduating high school, but I'm not gonna uh, be able to go inside the school one more time to see it, you know. It's like, I didn't know I was going to be in there for the last time before this all happened. So, just make peace with what I have. And uh, I hope that everyone in the class of 2020 has enjoyed the rest of their year. I hope that they are successful in every category that they strive to achieve. And um, I guess that's really it that is my last video log for this project that was assigned to me and I hope you all enjoyed it and I hope you could consider subscribing and if you want more vlog content let me know and that is all for me today and I will see you in the next one Thank you for watching. This is a quick editor's note just in case you were wondering what the special surprise was that I thought my mom was going to give me. So apparently I was uh, adopted as a senior by another family that we knew uh, who gave me a gift basket full of class of 2020 memorabilia, a beach ball that says 2020 on it, a t-shirt in the style of Friends, and I got a bunch of candy and a two liter of 7-Up. That was the big surprise, and it was a good surprise. Thank you for watching, and I hope you come back for another one.